What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Zoe here if you're new and today I am back with another video and today I am super duper excited. Fall is among us if y'all have not already noticed. Um, So I wanted to really do something that kind of is more into the fall spirit. It's one of my favorite seasons. I think it's so pretty. Bomb weather. All of that. So today I am basically going to be showing you guys how I got this like ginger, blondish, fall, autumn hair i really don't know how to explain this color to be honest and i dyed it myself and styled it myself applied it all of that um and i really wanted to show you guys how i got this color because i think it's super duper bomb honestly i love how this came out so much um i was a little nervous because i felt like it blended a little too much with my skin tone but i feel like it matches pretty pretty well I actually filmed me dyeing it um, and me styling it and all of that so you guys can get the full tea on how I got this color. And before I even get into the video, I just want to have a little chit chat with you guys. If you are watching this video right now, why don't you just subscribe? Like it's easy. You can click a little pause. You don't even have to pause. You can just listen to me talk. Scroll down a little bit. Click that notification bell. Click that subscribe button because a lot of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed and... I just think that's so crazy. Okay, so definitely subscribe to my channel and let me just get talking about how I got this beautiful ginger hair color. Ooh, it's so cute. Okay, um, but the hair is from Sealy Hair. It came in this bag. Um, if you guys know me, I'm not really a fan of bags for wigs. I like boxes, but I mean, shout out to them. They sent me a wig and this wig was originally 16 inches. Um, so this is what 16 inches looks on me. I want to say it was straight hair as well, but it obviously, as you guys can see, it takes curls really well. I used a thick, I used a wide, I don't know how many inches this is. I wish I could tell you, um, but it is a thicker barrel of a wand to get these waves. Um, and they're holding up pretty nice. I, mean, I didn't film me applying this wig, mainly because as me and frontals have like a love-hate relationship. Like sometimes when I apply a frontal, it's easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, you know? And then sometimes when I apply a frontal, it literally makes me feel like I'm walking over a pile of Legos. And um, the frontal did come pre-plucked and I could have gone like the extra mile and like plucked a little bit more of it. I just wasn't that pressed to do that, to be honest, especially because I knew I was going to be doing a middle part. Initially, for this wig, I wanted it to be like an ash brown with blonde highlights. Like, that was my goal. That's what I wanted to do. Clearly, it didn't turn out that way. Clearly, it turned into like a ginger vibe with blonde highlights, but I'm not mad at it, okay? So, so the way that I dyed this hair, I used um, WB2, W2B2. I really don't remember what it's called, but I used the bleach. I will show it on the screen. Um, so I used bleach and then I used 30 volume developer. Um, and I basically just simple bleach the hair. I parted it in sections, fully coated each of the strands. Um, I didn't put it in foil or anything. I kind of just let it bleach on its own. And I let it sit for, oh, uh, I really don't remember how long I let it sit, mainly because I'm just so used to doing wigs, I don't really time it when I dye the hair or whatever. Um, but I want to say I let it sit for at least like 30, 40, about five minutes. Um, and then I wash it out and you guys will be able to see the color that it ended up being once I wash it out. So I wanted to come and show y'all what color it is after I like bleached it once. This is, sorry, it looks kind of like knotted. I'm like separating right now. But this is the color that it came out to be. Um, I honestly was thinking about leaving it like this and just going on with it. But I decided to do something extra and that I've never done before. So I'm basically going to be adding highlights. I'm sorry, my floor is so crusty. Um, but I'm planning on adding highlights. So I'm basically in the process of like separating the hair out and like the places that are braided are going to be the places that i'm going to bleach um i'm gonna add like one more braid down here um i also added like i made a middle part and then i separated like a little triangle piece for like both sides so i added that as well and i'm basically just gonna be braiding this up um and separating it and then we're gonna get on to adding the highlights and i'm slightly nervous but i think it's going to come out good so and i kind of left it at that ginger color i was kind of like intrigued by the orange i was like hmm, this is gonna be like fall vibes so i decided to do highlights on top of the existing like gingerish color um and the way that i did the highlights i realized after the fact like after i already filmed the video that the sun was coming in my room and you couldn't really tell like 
you couldn't really see what I was doing with the highlighting. So I'm very, very sorry, but I will link the video down below that I used to learn how to highlight because at first, I, I mean, I had an idea of how to highlight hair, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I will link the video down below that taught me how to do it. Um, but I basically went back through and I highlighted different pieces of hair and the method that I used was using a um, rat tooth comb. And I basically just kind of like picked a section and went like in and out of the hair. And then like I took the pieces of hair that were on the top part of it and then like left the pieces on the back. And then the top part ones are the ones that I bleached and then the back ones weren't. It's really kind of hard to explain. I'm just going to, please watch the video. Like that's what I'm gonna say. Please watch the video down below if you really wanna know how to highlight hair. Um, it's honestly super easy. It's really not that complicated. And then I did like the braid method in the front but I honestly wish I would have done the method that I did in the back. Cause as you can see, like the highlights in the front are not as, prominent as the ones in the back um so then i highlighted it and i wrapped those in foil um and i let that sit and i just kept checking on it until i saw like a blonde color that i liked and then after that i washed it out um and then to tone the hair because it was very like fiery and bright i didn't have shimmer lights shampoo so i actually went in with two toners that i literally just already had um and that was kind of just the luck of the draw honestly truly i really did not plan to use this toner um, but the two toners that I used, I used the Color Charm toners, um, in the shades T18, which is lightest ash blonde, and T15, which is pale beige blonde. This is basically how it came out to be. Honestly, easy hack. I am also going to be showing you guys later in the video, um, how I basically tinted the roots to be a little bit of a darker shade than the, um, than what it originally was just because I felt like it looked a little crazy on me it looked like it blended a little too good in my skin um so yeah and that is basically how I got this hair color I'm literally obsessed with it I think it's so cute it's literally my new favorite like hair color I'm definitely going to be wearing this during homecoming I wasn't expecting to wear this wig during homecoming but it's looking like sis is gonna make an appearance okay oh and I'm gonna show the clips of me curling the hair and me uh fixing the roots for you guys if you guys can't tell i'm gonna come up close so you guys can see but i already did my makeup off camera i've literally done freckles so many times um so i didn't really feel the need to like record it but i don't know if i've ever done like an in-depth freckle tutorial so if you guys want an in-depth i can't even say that in-depth freckle tutorial um let me know and i will film it um, but I'm about to curl this hair because I'm not really feeling this straight and I feel like it's gonna look better with like the highlights if it were to be curled. So that's what I'm gonna do. I put this scarf over my head to like lay it down because like I don't have a, I don't know, I don't, I can't speak, god damn. Um, I don't have a hot comb and I want to invest in one so that's probably gonna be like one of my investments after I get like my camera and stuff fixed and everything but I do want to get a hot comb but I don't have one so I just tried to lay my hair with this scarf hopefully it laid because if it didn't I'm gonna cry a little bit um so let's see let me just comb it out I actually am going to darken the roots before I curl the hair just because I want to see if i'm gonna like it straight with the roots dark or if i'm gonna still want to curl it um so the way that i'm going to darken the roots today i am basically going to be using makeup um i don't really feel like going out and buying a whole pack of dye to have to re-dye it re-wash it re-straighten it it's gonna be too much i don't have the time i don't have the energy um so quick fix to if you want to add um any type of difference to your wigs makeup is like the key to success because you can literally wash it off um so it's not permanent like you're not if you do mess up like it's not permanent you're not going to permanently mess up your wig um and you can do it by lightening the part as well as darkening the roots if you want to if you want to um so today i am basically going to be using the maybelline fit me powder in the shade 360 mocha um but i'm not just using the powder i'm basically going to wet it so it becomes like a not a pomade because pomade is a little too thick but like it's going to make it a little darker and in consistency and a little bit better and then i'm going to be using a spoolie on the back of this brow pencil and i'm basically just going to be blending it down um so i'm going to show you guys also fun fact this is like my first time doing it in this method i've uh darkened roots before with makeup but this is my first time using this method so if it messes up 
it's gonna be super awkward but i mean hey trial and error i'd rather mess up here and show you guys what not to do than you guys doing something and then messing up your wig right before you try to go somewhere um so i basically just messed this part up with a bobby pin just to get the powder lifted i literally don't use this powder as anything else but freckles so um it really doesn't matter if it gets messed up and then i'm going to basically dump that onto the back of my hand i'm out here talking about some dumping on the back of my hand over here you can't even see it so i basically am dumping it on the back of my hand and then i'm going to be taking a spray of my max fit mac fix plus to wet it this i also use this method for part of my freckles um damn maybe i should do a freckles tutorial because now that i'm thinking about it i'm doing complicated things that people are not aware of um but yeah and then once you do this it basically makes it darker and it makes it into like a thicker pomade like consistency and you can honestly use this hack for like anything i imagine you can be honestly be able to use this for eyebrows too like if you want to diy your own brow pomade Y'all, I'm gonna just found a hack for life, okay? And then I'm just gonna tap my spoon into it. Maybe it's not working. I think I just need a darker shade, to be honest. Okay, let's move on to round two. Okay, trial and error, like I said. So obviously, because I'm using eyeshadow, it's a little bit more tricky. You don't want to really mess up your whole eyeshadow palette. Um, so be careful, please. Um, and I'm going to use this shade. Yeah. Maybe this shade I use. It's like not a black, but it's not like a brown. So the roots are now darkened a little bit. I didn't want them to be like crazy dark and I also don't want to hit pan on, on that eyeshadow. So, um, therefore, so, and then now I'm about to curl the hair. And there we <laughs> Boy, if you don't get Okay, and then I'm taking my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum and I'm gonna put it on the roots of my hair. And then I'm gonna lay it one more time. So I want the top part of my head to be like super flat. So I'm gonna take my scarf and I'm gonna lay it one more time. I'm gonna leave this on for like five, 10 minutes. And then when I come back, I'm gonna be full ready to talk to y'all about the hair and everything. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we go upload a video. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.